If you've been curious about fitness or activity trackers, there's an app available for the iPhone that's worth checking out. It's called Moves. It runs in the background all the time and it automatically tracks your everyday life and exercise. It can automatically recognize walking, cycling, and running, and it will put things on a map for you. So let's take a look at what it looks like. This is the Moves report for today. So far I spent an hour at the gym. That was technically for a yoga class, but I only mapped that location, which you can see is South Reno Athletic Club, to gym training. If I click on that, I can actually go through and look at other kinds of activities that it can be associated with. So if I'm going to a park to play football, I can track that. I do tend to run at a couple standard parks, so my location time spent at each of those parks could be automatically mapped to running. That is data that would be shared with Apple Health as well. So that's kind of interesting once you've gone through these activities and mapped them in the future. More interestingly is if we go back to something like last Sunday, I was in Berkeley for Berkeley Sunday Streets. We stayed in downtown Pleasant Hill, and the first place that we went to was Tilden Park. Visited the Golden Gate Live Steamers. They had their fall open house. That's something that my son and I spent a lot of time at when we lived in the East Bay years ago. If we go down a little bit further, it was automatically tracking all this activity. So Berkeley Sunday Streets was about 17 blocks in Berkeley. One end of it was near the Gourmet Ghetto. And basically, if I look on the map, I can see all of my activity for the duration of time that I spent in Berkeley. Each time that I stopped, it basically dropped a pin. It identified when I was walking and then when I stopped and when I started walking again. If I go all the way to the end, I can see where the other end of Berkeley Sunday Streets was. Okay, the fitness trackers today have GPS and typically monitor your heart rate 24-7. The advantage of Moves is that it's running all the time on your phone, and you're probably carrying your phone with you all the time. If you just run it out of the box, it's basically a journal of your activity in terms of GPS locations. But if you start to track the places where you run and work out and typically walk for fitness to those activities, you're going to get more of a quantified self perspective on which days you are as active as you wanted to be. The connected apps probably promise to provide additional information on what it is that you're doing from a fitness and health perspective. I'll be looking at that over the next couple of weeks and we'll report back on how moves fits into my lifestyle and what kind of perspective and data it has provided to me uh, for my gym and outdoor habits.